Okay, now we're going to look at making a chart using the data from the data table. There's lots of different charts that you can use. Uh, the chart that we're going to use today is the XY scatter plot. The reason being, the quantity acts as the X value or the independent variable, and the annual profit acts as the Y variable or the dependent variable, meaning this value depends on which quantity you have entered here. So that's what that means. So we're going to use an XY scatter plot or XY scatter chart. The way I usually chart, and I think it's the easiest way, is you select the data that you want to be in the chart. Here we're going to select from 0 to 7 thousand quantity options and we're also going to include this next column with annual profit. So we've selected this, now we're going to make a chart based on what we've just selected. Now I'm going to go to the insert menu and find chart here. If it doesn't show up you can click on that expand key and chart will show up in this menu but also it's much easier to just select it from the toolbar that's usually up here, but we've had to shrink the size of the screen so the toolbar doesn't show up in this display. So we're going to select it from this insert menu chart. Select it and you can choose a type of chart here and once you've selected a type of chart you can select a subtype which is a version of the chart you select here we want the XY scatter as we've already explained and the version that we want is the connected line version without curves if you select this version it won't matter in our case because it's all of the information is on a straight line so whether we select this one or this one it's going to look the same but as a rule XY scatter this one is used more often in business applications the connected line so we click on next after we've selected the sub type and we see an example of the chart of what it will look like now if you want to be really nitpicky about this you can go in and name what the line is we're gonna say profit as a function of quantity and then we're going to click on next and now we're going to name the x-axis and the y-axis the value of the x-axis represents production quantity and the value of the y-axis represents annual profit you can change a number of things in this menu as you can see and I urge you to just mess around with this if you've never made a chart successfully before it's okay to print a bunch of mess ups at first you learn a lot that way now once we've entered in the X and Y axis names we're going to click next and now it's going to ask do we want it as a new sheet or an object in the sheet that we're currently in. I suggest that you do an object in. It will be easier to print it side by side. And then once you've done that you click finish and it automatically makes a chart for you. Now in our example the chart looks kind of weird because it shrunk so much but you can just expand it and it automatically changes all the values of your, of your chart to make it look normal. But it's kind of a tedious process to, to make it work right, especially in the small screen. So there you go, that's how you create a chart.